they were smart, I might have done this in the daytime when you could actually see a little bit better, but it is Vegas. They like night. And uh, it's 9.30 at night, so hot as fury. So it uh, looks like a good time to do this. Now, I'm standing on the ninth floor of the Ogden, which is the building that is really pretty much the, the um, downtown residential building um, in this area right now. Um, I happen to be, I had the good fortune of being able to use what they call a crash pad here, which is usually for tech people or look at relocating, but uh, they decided to be nice to me. So, I'm on the ninth floor. I'm looking at this point due north. So, that is Las Vegas Boulevard down there. I have Ogden Street directly below me. And I'm going to try to give you a little bit of a picture from here of what all is going on. So, over here, so this is looking to the west. We have, you can see a building in the foreground there called the Gold Spike. And I'm trying to zoom in so that you can see it's got a really cool sign, um, which is all original to the building or, you know, original to its use as a casino. Um, it's no longer a casino. This is actually, um, it, it sort of has functioned as the living room for the people who are involved in the downtown project, the various activities. So the casino space in there has been converted to, it's, a, it's a basically a big, open, comfortable room where they have music and there's a bar and there's a little restaurant in there and it's, it really has become a very fun place. They're in the process of trying to figure out what to do with the upstairs. Um, originally, I thought when, I, um, when they agreed to let me use a crash pad, I thought I would end up in there and I thought it would basically be a you know, 1960s era hotel room. But they're actually still trying to figure that out, and they're actually testing it. There's people who are volunteering for short-term leases to try it out and uh, give feedback on what they think. In addition to that, there's another building over here that has this wonderful sign. Uh, this is the Oasis, so it's another hotel. I don't think it's a casino, but it's another uh, mid-century hotel that, um, that right now they're maintaining. I don't think anybody's using it a whole lot, but um, the game plan is for that to become available for residential as well. This extremely large parking garage and the buildings beyond it are the old, um, the former city hall, the city of Las Vegas. They are, it's now um, Zappos headquarters, so I learned today there's 1,500 people who work in there just beyond the, the parking garage. Saying So that's Zappos headquarters and you know, the, that 1,500 people here is really what sort of gave folks the kick in the pants to say we got to do something to make downtown a place where people want to be. Really, part of it was really a recruitment issue, so I apologize for the wobble. I wanted to turn back. I forgot to say over this way. Um, so again, there's the gold spike just for reference. The Grand Hotel is back there, and if you're looking kind of off into the distance, you can see the tops of some of the hotels that are um, on Fremont Street. So there's the, um, I forgot what that one's called, back in the distance. And um, so, you know, we're literally right next to the Fremont Street experience behavior, or uh, that center of activity. So just to give you that frame of reference. So I'm panning back across here, obviously, you see 7-Eleven there has to have lights as well. Um, the building in the just beyond the 7-Eleven is called the Stitch Factory, and that's actually an incubator for fashion, um, fashion designers and fashion industry people. As I continue over here, and I've got some buses that pulled up below me that are loud, this is looking at the back of a really interesting uh, business that isn't quite open in this location yet, but they are open in other places. So this is Local Motors. I went and visited them this morning. And uh, if you haven't found out about Local Motors, they're basically a crowdsourced and um, my crowdsourced design and micro factory for vehicles. So this is one of their first outposts outside of Chandler, Arizona, which is their headquarters. And uh, they're a really fascinating story. They're just barely getting started here. The square building in the front is going to be retail space. It's actually an old uh, uh, car lube, you know, lube and oil change shop. And the um, building, the longer rectangular building in what's our foreground, we're looking at it from the back, is where they're actually going to have space for um, vehicles to be assembled. 
Um, a lot of times when people buy these things, they actually want to have the experience of assembling it themselves and they could do it here. And there'll also be kind of a maker space where people will be able to try out other things. So I'm going to pan a little bit more to the north. Obviously, lots of parking lots. That's one of the challenges with this area is that there's so much um, basically open land. And with it being night, the lights are kind of blinding. Um, but you can see over here, there's some murals on the walls. So there's one over there that's uh, a little bit hard to make out. And there's one over here that is, uh, it's basically a snail with a human skull for a shell. It's kind of a weird motif. Um, but there's murals all throughout this area, and they were done for the, um, the Life is Beautiful Festival, which was first held last year and is coming up again at the tail end of October. So all down Ogden Street and Fremont and all throughout this area, you find these really impressive murals on various kinds of buildings and all forms or shapes of, of condition. So uh, gives you a little bit of a picture of at least this northern portion of the area. Um, I've got pictures posted on Instagram of the container park and some of the other things that are in the vicinity. And um, it's definitely worth taking a look at and uh, checking out. Especially if my camera work, as fabulous as it is, doesn't quite do the job for you. So, it's the Downtown Project Las Vegas.